Today we're gonna show you the fastest charge that Karma, our 2024 Tesla Model Y, has ever had at a Tesla supercharger. It was really unbelievable. Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky, the 2016 Tesla Model X, and Karma, the 2024 Tesla Model Y that I am sitting in right now. This video is going to be a little bit of a PS to the recent video that we posted. Just how many real miles does Karma, this Tesla Model Y, get with a full charge? In that video, we pulled into the big Pine Key Superchargers with just 4% battery, and we saw the most unbelievably fast charge that we're going to show you today. This video is inspired by the success of a little video that we posted two years ago, How Fast did Lucky charge in Big Pine Key. That video was posted on September 14th of 2022, right after the brand new V3 Tesla superchargers opened in Big Pine Key. And the V3 superchargers can go all the way to 250 kilowatts. That short little four minute video started slow and just keeps going. It is currently up to 1,790 views with consistent, steady, growth. I'm not really sure why, but we are grateful for views on any of our videos. In that video with Lucky, our older 2016 Tesla Model X, we thought we were going to show the viewers of Tesla Lucky a big charge, and instead we got a big surprise with just how far below the maximum of 250 kilowatts we saw charging on our vehicle that day. Way below 250 kilowatts. Now that was before I knew about the little trick with Teslas that even if you know where the superchargers are, it's a good idea to enter the supercharger into the navigation system on the MCU in the vehicle because when you navigate to the supercharger for at least 10 to 20 minutes before you plug in, it preconditions the battery for faster charging. So many little things to know about Teslas, right? After we started doing that, we started to see consistently higher charging speeds for Lucky, the older Model X, at those big Pine Key superchargers. That old battery would consistently charge to above 150 or 160 kilowatts, and one time we actually got Lucky all the way up to 171 kilowatts. Before we show you Karma's unbelievably fast charge at the exact same superchargers, let's take a quick look at Karma's specs. Karma is a 2024 long range all wheel drive Model X. She has a lithium ion battery and we have both full self driving and free supercharging for life with Karma. And you gotta love that, right? Full self driving and free supercharging for life, that's special. During Karma's first big summer road trip, on the day that I drove 913 miles in a single day, we saw charging speeds at the superchargers between 139 and 187 kilowatts. Now let's take a look at this big unbelievable charge here in Big Pine Key. Here's Karma at 4% state of charge. Uh, there is a nice Cybertruck in the supercharging stall right next to us and pretty busy day at the superchargers. I uh, think there was at least four, if not five out of the eight stalls filled. Not sure why pressing the button on the supercharger there didn't open the door, the charge port door, had to do that manually. But anyway, Karma did start to charge right away. You see it turn green right there. So let's see, I count. Oh, there was a Ford uh, Lightning charging that day in the end stall. You see that? It's always cool now when you see some of the non Teslas uh, charging at the Teslas. Uh, I love that. All right, so now we get in the car to see already at 169 kilowatts, 171. That was Lucky's fastest charge speed. 
always takes a little bit of time for the charging speeds to pick up. So here's Karma passing 200 kilowatts, then jumps to 213, 226. I just can't even believe how fast she's going. And boom, 253, 253 kilowatts. Then it drops to 251. And wow, it uh, I have never seen 253 kilowatts in uh, Karma. Like, I didn't know... Like, why is Karma charging faster than 250 when that is the supposed uh, fastest speed of a V3 supercharger? And it maintains that charging speed over 250 for quite some time. You can see there that I just lowered the charge to 80% for daily use. We just had it to 100% for that experiment with the real miles, but we don't wanna do that all the time. So I thought that was unbelievable to exceed 250 kilowatts on a V3 charger and, and not just for like a quick little blip. I mean, it stayed above 250 and went up and down. That was unbelievable to me. Have you ever seen that in your Tesla? Or do you have any explanation for why a Tesla 250 kilowatt charger could hit 253? All right, I know I sound like such a geek right now, but that was really exciting for me. And I had to share it with the viewers of Tesla Lucky because it was just so fun. If you enjoyed this video, you can help our channel a lot just by clicking the like button. And if you didn't enjoy this video, please feel free to leave us a comment with feedback on what we can do better. Just please don't be mean about it, okay? And for people who are really enjoying Test Lucky and learning a lot from our videos, we hope that you will consider clicking on the join button to become a channel member of Test Lucky. We have two levels, 99 cents or $1.99 a month. Either level will give you free merch and we pay the shipping. You'll be able to chat with us in the members only community chat and be featured in shout outs on our channel. Half the money for the Test Lucky YouTube channel is going to go towards feeding Carly, the future college student. She's going to college in less than two years. And the other half goes towards channel operating expenses. We thank you so much for watching this Test Lucky video all the way to the end. Safe travels in whatever you drive. <music>